okay so um welcome again back uh in our previous tutorial we talked about data types in php and what they were all about and we actually got to explain and understand the string integer float and boolean data types keeping the others that will study them in the uh, videos ahead so in our next uh, tutorial what we'll be diving into right now we'll be going into operators in php now uh, we have so far seen the various variables we've somehow seen um their types and so on but what exactly can we do with this is it just printing them out definitely we'll not just be printing them out we can actually um do some operations on this on this uh variables that will define maybe get a sum maybe concatenate and so on right in php there are various kinds of operators right operators are used to perform operations on variables and values php divides the operators in various groups right so in php you could have arithmetic operators you could have assignment operators you could have comparison operators you have increment and decrement logical string operators array operators conditional assignment operators and list i continue okay that is it about the various operators in php and we are going to go through some of them we're going to start with the arithmetic operators arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic operation right mathematical operations things like plus minus uh, divide modulus and so on each of these can be used so um you have this table here this table have the various operators for arithmetic and you have the addition of the plus and how it can be used i hope that uh, you actually see this very well you have the minus you have the multiplication the division the modulus the modulus is used to get um, the remainder when you divide uh, a number by another the the, uh, the division at least you should know that is used to divide two numbers and you have the star star as exponential or exponentiation is used to get a, a number raised to another power right for example two raised to the power three that is the operator you use in php we are going to actually see uh, some of this in action right now so i'm going to switch to my editor and i'm going to close this and create another folder called operators and uh, create a file called addition or let's say arithmetic sorry arithmetic.php and we are going to define two uh, variables maybe uh let's call it first and assign the value to it 18 and another second or to seven right now we are going to try to print out uh, all the various arithmetic operators and you're actually going to see how handy they can become uh, i'm going to print out the sum which is first plus second i'm going to print out the uh, the difference which is first minus second or second minus first depends on you i'm going to print out uh, the uh, the multiplication or the product which is first time second i'm going to print out the uh, the quotient and so on and so forth the list continues right uh i think that is it let me just in here now let's try formatting this thing right i like formatting my my script so that it does make sense I'm going to paste this out here and I'm going to actually give it a name uh, a whole uh, song mm, yeah I think I should do this just for some understanding right, I'm going to change this and reformat everything here so that it gets to look good on the screen so that i'll actually have to explain all of this that i've done 
so that you don't get confused. All right. So um echo uh, power um Going to instead of using this passing the power of freedom, right? And we should have something reasonable on your screen now. So you have what I did here, they call it string concatenation. We'll do it when we are doing string. You can actually pass, you can actually echo out many uh, different types in one line. By using the dot operator, that means you should do a concatenation combining strings, right? So in this case, I will echo out the song and pass a value, then I break the line. I actually just open the browser and uh, what was our, I think it's operators. and you can actually see it out here right so um just to add something before explaining let go, uh, let me see let's see uh, first and second and i'm going to concatenate this out Just so that you actually get to see what we are adding and what we are so on. So we have our first and our second. I'll actually give a space here just so that we have something. All right, so we have our first number is 18, the second number is 7. And we've performed the various arithmetic operations in all of them. We have that their sum is 25, their difference is this, their quotient is this, their modulus is this, and power is this. So you actually see how uh, useful arithmetic operators become in PHP. Coming back to this, this is it about arithmetic operations. There are, there are a lot of other things. Maybe you could actually uh, calculate somebody's date of birth from the year of birth that the person gives and so on. You just get to practice this and you actually understand what the various arithmetic operators. The next we are going to talk about is, um, uh, or I think we have, uh, let's see, assignment operators. Yeah, this is what we have, the various assignment operators in PHP. Assignment operators are used to assign a value to a variable, right? Now, the normal one that you know is that x is equal to 1 or x is equal to y or so on. But actually, there are many others. They are actually alike. For example, you have x plus equal to y. That means x is equal to x plus y. Right? These are just, this is just a tweak, a shorthand for assignment operators. Just get to go over this table and uh, comparison operators. You have equal to, you have triple equal to this one is actually used to return uh, a strict equality in php right plus the type meaning that if i have uh, 12 and maybe 12 as a string and 12 as a number if i actually have to equate them i want to check whether they are equal i can use this triple equal sign right they're not equal to the uh, not equal you have uh, not identical, the greater than, the less than, and so on. These are the various uh, operators which are producing comparison operators in PHP. You should go ahead and read about this so that uh, you actually get to understand what they are all used for. You have uh, logical operators in PHP. You have the AND, you have the OR, you have the ZOR, and so on. At least you get to actually do a research on this and you actually see how handy they become in PHP. So um, I think I will actually just do a brief again 
I'll create another file called others.php and I'm going to talk about uh, the the uh, logical operators because it is very useful sometimes though this one comes most when you are dealing with conditionals we have not done conditionals so i think we should talk about that in the uh, next video so um if i say uh, for example y is equal to a this is an assignment operator which we just saw and i say for example i declare another variable called x is equal to y right that means i've taken the value of y and i've now assigned to x if i try printing that out echo uh, maybe x for example uh, i'm just going to run this from terminal not having to open my browser again that was the reason you actually had to install php on terminal clearing this if i run this out you see that we we have eight though at the beginning we said y was eight we did not say x was eight but since we've assigned the value of y to x we can now see that x is eight that is the assignment operator now this double assignment actually says that you are trying to compare uh, y and it right so if i say uh, x is equal to maybe seven and i try echoing uh let's see uh, in, in this, this, this goes for conditional i think i'll talk more about this when we are doing conditionals because you will not actually get to understand this but at least you should get to understand what operators are in, are in php what they can be used for and so on uh you have a lot of resources out there that you can actually get to exploit all of these things this is it about operators in our next uh, tutorial i'm going to actually take an example and we try to code out something to see the use of all of these things that we've been talking about hopefully you get to understand that better yeah.